Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Destiny changer, you are a destiny changer. Come and change your destiny, a destiny today. Come and change your destiny. Praise the Lord. God bless you, viewers all over the world. My name is Prophet Desmond Obi. Welcome to today's Encounter Miracle Hour. God bless you. I am the President of Supreme Anointing Global Ministry. And right here today, we are going to be experiencing the move of God in another dimension. I'd like to welcome each and every one of you, wherever you are. Connect right now. Distance is not a barrier. Believe is your connection. Wherever you're watching me from, just make sure you are getting connected right now all over the world as we are about to look into the world and we are about to experience the world and the manifestation of the world. Hallelujah. I'd like to welcome you all in the name of Jesus. Without wasting much of your time today, we are going to be taking a look at something very very special hallelujah very very special so i like you to make sure you are connected brace up yourself and get ready for the move hallelujah uh while we are going to be sharing the word i believe in the move of god amen i believe in the move of god so we are going to be doing that very quickly if you are here and you are getting connected i like you to move up with me to the book of john chapter number 11 john chapter number 11 hallelujah john chapter number 11 we are going to be taking from verse number 32 glory to god we are going to be taking verse 32 verse 32 uh, up until 44 hallelujah now the bible said then when mary was come where jesus was and saw him she fell down at his feet saying unto him lord if thou had been here, my brother had not died. Hallelujah. Then verse 33, when Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, she groaned in the spirit and was troubled. 34, and said, where have you laid him? Said unto him, Lord, come and see. Hallelujah. Now today we are going to be looking at the stones, rolling away stones rolling away stones as a matter of fact there are people that are living today and they are experiencing all kind of tribulation all kind of blockage all kind of stoppage all kind of uh, stumbling blocks as a result of a certain stone that have blocked their way hallelujah and today by the special grace of god i came with the message of good news to share with you all wherever you are it doesn't matter what you're going through it doesn't matter what you are passing through i came with a mandate of liberation this afternoon based on time and location god has sent a word to you today god is giving you a word today make sure you get connected in faith hallelujah now 
Maybe you went up to Jesus and told him, if you had been here, our brother wouldn't have died. I know a lot of you might have been praying and asking God, why did you allow this to happen? Why did you allow this to happen? So many a times we don't understand the situation we are actually going through or we have not actually taken note of what is going on around us. We kept on asking questions. Beloved child of God, when you look at the book, according to the book of Luke chapter number 18 from verse 1, and the Bible said, a man ought to pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. Men ought to pray and not to faint. Now, what is it telling us? That we are meant to pray every day of our lives. Hallelujah. As believers, as Christians, we are urged to pray every now and then. No wonder the Bible says, according to the book of 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17, uh, pray without ceasing. And a lot of times, most people have actually misunderstood the concept of prayer as in Praying without season, which means pray without stopping. It is not a matter of being praying in January, praying in uh, February, March, or April. It's a matter of praying without stopping. Praying without stopping. As a matter of fact, as we have been told, it is, it is mandatory for you and I as a child of God, as a Christian, to pray. Hallelujah. Prayer is one of the greatest key for survival. Prayer is the necessity for survival. Prayer is the mandate of a child of God. Hallelujah. Prayer, you are meant to pray in the morning, pray in the night, pray in the evening, pray every day of your life. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, there are situations that would not go out of the way except by prayer. And the servant of Jesus came up to him and told him, Jesus, why is it that this demon, we were not able to cast out this demon? And Jesus replying unto them, saying that this type cannot go out except by fasting and prayer. Glory to God. This kind of spirit cannot go out except by fasting and prayer. So I came to give you keys this afternoon. And these keys are the keys to unlock and to roll away starting stones of our life. Starting stumbling blocks of our life. Hallelujah. You get to discover there are certain set of people that they have been going through situations and yet they have not really taken advantage of the of prayer. Hallelujah. Some people are actually some people are actually praying without believing. Now the Bible told us that um, when we are asking anything when we are praying, we should first of all believe that the prayer we are praying is already answered. Just like when we were told that Daniel actually prayed, Daniel prayed and prayed and prayed. And on the first day that Daniel prayed, answers were already released. Glory to God. Answers were already released. As a matter of fact, the day that you decided to pray, God already released an answer. So the, the, the prince of Persia that stood against the prayer of Daniel was the stumbling block to the answers. Am I talking to somebody? You need to understand, beloved child of God, that wherever you are, you need to contend with the stones. There are stones that need to be rolled away for your miracle to come to manifestation. As a matter of fact, if you can pray, as a matter of fact, that prayer is definitely going to roll away the stones of your life. Am I talking to somebody? Now, when you look at this, David needed just one stone to silence Goliath. Hallelujah. So, in representation, we can, we can see that the stone that David used to defeat Goliath was the stone of prayer. Hallelujah. The stone that David needed to silence Goliath was the stone of prayer. So, prayer in that context stood as a force to roll away the stone that is hindering the children of God. As a matter of fact, so many of us, what we are going through today, we have not taken it up to God in prayer. And some of us might say, I have prayed and prayed, yet nothing is happening. There are various classes and there are various dimensions of prayer. Amen. There were various classes and various dimensions of prayer. Now, when we were reading the book of John, amen. Now, when Jesus therefore saw her weeping, verse number 33, John 11, 33, and he, he, he came with her, groaned in the spirit, and was troubled. Hallelujah. Verse 34 said, and said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Hallelujah. Verse number 35, the Bible says, Jesus wept. Glory to God. Jesus wept. Now, when you look at the scripture, that happens to be one of the shortest verse. That happens to be one of the shortest psalm. 
Hallelujah. One of the shortest scripture. Hallelujah. And it said, Jesus wept. Have you really asked the question? And some of us will know we might not have been taught about this uh, when we were in the in the tertiary stage or in the in the basic stage of Christianity. Why Jesus wept? Every one of us know John eleven thirty five and Jesus wept. But there were certain reasons why Jesus actually wept. Hallelujah. There were certain reasons why Jesus actually wept. Now, looking at the situation of Lazarus. Jesus looked and said, For how long have I left this particular man that it came to pass that he had to die? Hallelujah. When Jesus looked at the handwriting of the wicked on the sepulchre, he cried. That was one of the major reasons why Jesus cried, asking, For how long? I was with him not too long ago, and now he's dead. So automatically, there are times in life when there are situations that we go through and we ask, How come? Why me? And today, Jesus is bringing us a good news. The good news is coming to you today. If, if we can, if we can hack in onto the voice of the Lord and take the word for today, we are going to experience a new turnaround and a transformation. As a matter of fact, stones shall be rolled away. I don't know who is watching me right now, wherever you're watching me from, but distance is not a barrier. I tell you, belief is your connection. Hallelujah. Belief is a connection. So when Jesus wept, verse number 36 says, then, then said the Jews, Behold, he loved him. So this was a man, Lazarus was this kind of man that Jesus actually loved. They were, uh, Lazarus happened to be one of the greatest supporters of Jesus' ministry, the ministry of Jesus. That because even the sisters of uh, Lazarus, Mary and the rest of them, they were great supporters of Jesus Christ. And look at this, I want to tell you something, that by the timing of God, everything is on time. There is, no, there is no time that is late for God. There is no time that is late for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So any time God remembers a man, the life of that man is being transformed. Hallelujah. Any time Jesus steps into a case, that case automatically receives answer. So what are you going to do today, beloved child of God? Number one, you need an invitation. You need to invite Jesus hallelujah you need to invite jesus to your situation you need to invite jesus to your matter as a matter of fact we were made to understand that the wedding at cana took place and it was a successful one by the reason of the presence of jesus christ a lot of us have been praying we are just praying without knowing our backup we are just praying without knowing our defense we are just praying without knowing where and where uh, we, we are heading to hallelujah so the invitation of Jesus Christ to that wedding actually brought new wine. It brought new taste to the wedding. It brought new face. It brought new picture to the wedding at Cana. Hallelujah. The same way Jesus was invited in the case of Lazarus. Hallelujah. The same way the case was being treated. And Jesus, Jesus told them, he said, verse 36, then he said, Behold, how he loved him, verse 37, he said, and some of them said, could not this man have opened the eyes of the blind? Of course, that even this man should not have died. A lot of people have questioned and said, Oh, I have prayed and prayed, yet my trouble still remains. I have prayed and I have prayed and I have prayed, yet my trouble still remains. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a difference between you being a Christian, a religious one at that, and being a spiritual Christian. Because when you are a spiritual Christian, I tell you, you get to understand divine dimensions of prayers. Hallelujah. So there are people who are basically uh, uh, Christians who are just religious ones, and some that are Christians who are practically spiritual. Hallelujah. Now, when you are a spiritual Christian, you get to discover that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a man that is right on time. There is no time that is late for him. Hallelujah. Now, what you got to do is this. First of all, you need to invite Christ, like I said. And how do you invite Christ? By surrendering totally and returning back to him. A lot of us might say, oh, I am living a righteous life. Hallelujah. But the Bible made us to understand that we need not to lean on our own understanding because the things that you feel are actually right might be wrong in the sight of God. Hallelujah. So you need a reconnection back to Christ. This message might not excite you, but definitely is going to bless you. Hallelujah. So you need to understand that the first step for you to enjoy safety, for you to enjoy healing, for you to enjoy deliverance is to surrender totally unto Christ. Hallelujah. Come unto me, all you that are heavenly laden, and I will give you rest. You cannot get rest if you if you don't if you don't submit totally. So total submission will guarantee your first step to amazing miracle total surrender will, uh, will usher you into the realms of enjoying all the benefits 
that is accompanied with salvation hallelujah because salvation itself is a total package so when you are saved you are able to enjoy freedom when you are saved you are able to enjoy liberation when you are saved you are able to enjoy divine health hallelujah so the invitation of jesus into your life you accepting christ as your lord and personal savior is the first step for you to enjoy miracles hallelujah so prayer can actually usher you into the realms of miracles but let me tell you the presence of christ in your life the presence of the holy spirit we we, we sustain the miracle that you have actually received as a matter of fact you get to see a lot of people who today they are healed and tomorrow they are back to infirmity today they are healed and tomorrow they are back with sickness that is why there is this is because there is no sustainable effect hallelujah so the spirit of god needs to be with you you need to carry the holy spirit to sustain what you have received hallelujah so these are part of the packages that are assigned that are attached to salvation if any man be in christ jesus is a new creation behold all things are passed away and every other thing have become new so when you are brand new in christ everything becomes new about you your status will change hallelujah your name will change your character will change everything about you will change hallelujah and you need to understand that when god changes the status of a man even the stature will change when god changes the status of a man everything about the man changes hallelujah so these are part of the blessings that are attached that are connected to salvation hallelujah i don't know if you're watching me right now uh, i want to pray with you and i'm going to pray for you as a matter of fact there is someone who is watching me right now uh you are somewhere watching me and you are putting on somewhat like a red apparel you are putting on somewhat like a red apparel god wants to heal you today god wants to heal you today and god wants to wipe out and roll out that stone from your way because uh right now there is a sickness there are some sort of sickness there are some sort of pain you are going through as a matter of fact this happens to be like uh i don't know if the doctor have called it cancer there is a woman watching me right now the 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 stone that is about to be rolled away from your life is the stone of sickness you are watching me right now you're watching me right now god is about to roll away the stone of sickness and it is it is it is connected to your breast it is connected to your breast this is this is like a breast cancer or a breast tumor there is somebody watch me right now you are seated in your house right now you are putting somewhat like a red cloth you are experiencing you are experiencing a pain on your breast i saw a report i saw a report the phone lines are actually open right now you can actually go ahead and call you can go ahead and call you can go ahead and call and i saw somebody you're watching me right now you're watching me right now i don't know but there is a huge sickness that god is about to roll away in your life as a matter of fact i saw a huge scrotum there is a sickness in your life right now a huge scrotum so you can go ahead and call you can go ahead and call you can go ahead and call and there is somebody else right now uh, you are watching me here god is about to roll away the stone of disappointment the stone of disappointment you had a disappointment recently not too long ago uh from the embassy from the embassy you have you have been denied several times from the embassy go ahead and call wherever you are the phone lines are open you can go ahead and call while we move ahead hallelujah now we need to understand that salvation is very very mandatory as a christian hallelujah and as a child of god because this is what we sustain your miracles and to the glory of god on this platform today we are on the miracle today hallelujah and i believe god strongly that someone out there is going to testify just by the reason of the connection of this broadcast hallelujah hallelujah now number two you need to understand the efficacy in the power of the blood of jesus christ you need to understand the efficacy in the power of the blood of jesus christ because we were made to understand even in the hebrews chapter number nine we we're made to understand that the blood carries a huge capacity so when you come into christ for some stones to be rolled away there needs to be a voice there needs to be the speaking voice of the blood hallelujah so which means you need to understand that also the blood speaks the blood speaks now let us look at uh, john 11 verse 38 and the bible says jesus therefore again groaning in himself cometh to the grave it was a cave and a stone laid upon him a stone laid upon him now verse number 39 jesus said take ye away the stone take ye away the stone 
take ye away the stone. So there are certain set of people that are here today. By the reason of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to enjoy sustainable health. You are going to enjoy sustainable health. Sustainable health. Sustainable health. You are going through a certain situation in life. Jesus is saying today, let the stones be rolled away. Let the stones be rolled away. Let the stones be rolled away. And today I came with the good news. By the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ, stones of limitation shall be rolled away. Stones of pain shall be rolled away. Stones of barrenness shall be rolled away. Stones of delay shall be rolled away. Stones of disappointment shall be rolled away. Stones of rising and falling shall be rolled away. In the name of Jesus Christ, every kind of stone that has limited you, every kind of stone that has limited you today those stones shall be rolled away in the name of jesus christ and jesus ordered them saying roll away the stone now this brought me into some certain realms and dimension when i got to understand that there are various kind of stones in the life of a man there are stones that can be rolled away by men and there are stones that can only be rolled away by god my god my god my god there are stones that can be rolled away by men and there are stones that can only be rolled away by god hallelujah jesus commanded the men to roll away the stone of lazarus glory to god jesus told them roll away the stone of lazarus take ye away the stone matter the sister of him that was there said unto him lord by this time he stinketh for he had been dead for four days that's number 40 and jesus said unto us said i not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou should see the glory of god and that's number 41 then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid and jesus lifted up his eyes and said father i thank thee that thou hast heard me now what i'm saying in essence is this there were men that were actually waiting there there were men that were actually waiting there there were men that was able to roll away the stones of Lazarus there were men that were there who were carrying the capacity to run away the stumbling stones of Lazarus that was preventing him from coming out of the grave as a matter of fact these are the kind of stones that can be rolled away by men ladies and gentlemen you get to discover the fact that there are men that are in existence today the only situation they are going through right now can be solved with a bank alert I don't know if I'm telling you somebody right here, but you need to connect with this word now. There are so many people on the surface of the earth right now, their own stones can be rolled away by the reason of a contact, a call, a job. Hallelujah. There are people that their stones can be rolled away by men. And there are some that nothing can be done about it except by spiritual and divine intervention. These are the things you need to understand. There are people today, an introduction can move you to the next level. These are the kind of miracles that you will receive. These are the kind of stones that can be rolled away by men. Oh, you needed to be given a lift from a certain location to another location. And you don't have the means and somebody stops by the way and picks you up and takes you to where you are heading to. These stones can be rolled away by men. Hallelujah. These stones can be rolled away by men. Hallelujah. So, there are also stones that can only be rolled away by divine intervention. Glory to God. So, I'm going to quickly take, I'm going to quickly take uh, Joshua chapter number 5 from verse 9. Joshua 5 verse 9. Hallelujah. Joshua 5 verse 9 and it says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt, from off you therefore the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day so this will give you a clear indication that there are some certain set of stones that cannot be rolled away except by divine intervention only by divine intervention can these stones be rolled away and, G uh, and the Lord said to Joshua that this day have I rolled away the stones Hallelujah. This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt. Hallelujah. So for, for, the, for the fact that Egypt has been a certain uh, a kind of a place of, of, of hindrance to the people of Israel. 
and God said to them that on this day I will roll it away I will roll away that reproach I will roll away that pain I will roll away that sickness I will roll away that misfortune I will roll away that delays I will roll away that disappointment hallelujah hear this and hear this word child of God so there are certain storms that cannot be calmed by human means they can only be calmed by the means of divine intervention the same way you need to understand today that what you are going through some can be dealt with by humans and some only by divine intervention and that is the area i came to announce to somebody today the stone shall be rolled away i came with divine intervention i came with divine solution i don't know where you are watching me right now where you're watching me from right now but there is something you're actually going through today there are stones that have been casted into your life that needs to be rolled away god is rolling them away today God is rolling them away today. God is rolling them away today. God is rolling them away today. And you need to understand that this stone of Lazarus was rolled away. And Jesus said to Lazarus, Come forth. And the dead came forth. So immediately, immediately, God, God bless you, man of God. God bless you. Yeah, I'm enjoying your program. Great work. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. I just need you to, to pray for me for greater speed and uh, to be lifted into glory. I just need more of God in my ministry. What's your name, sir? God bless you too, man of God. God bless you. What is your name and where are you calling from? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm here. I said, what is your name and where are you calling from? I'm already on you. It's business music prophet. You're already talking. I'm already speaking with the man of God. Okay. Uh, I said, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. Lagos. All right. I declare over your life right now that the hand of God will be released upon you. And I ask that you will experience grace for divine exploit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I ask that the infinite mercy of God, that you will rise above limitation, you will rise above struggles, and you will rise above every handmaid of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you today for more grace and increase. Amen. All right, wherever you are right now, you can go ahead, you can go ahead and uh, start tuning in, start tuning in, you can send in the number you can call the number shown on the screen right now for your prayers hallelujah while well, we go ahead now we discover that this stone of lazarus was rolled away by men but i want to open your eyes to a certain revelation that you need to understand in the book of mark chapter number 16 from verse 1 mark chapter number 16 from verse 1 something happened clearly there something happened clearly there mark chapter number 16 from verse 1 i'm going to take it very fast and when the sabbath was passed mary magdalene mary magdalene and mary the mother of james and salome had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him verse number two and very early in the morning the first day of the week they came up to the sepulcher at the rising of the sun verse number three and they said among themselves who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulcher verse number four who shall verse number three said and who shall roll away the stone from the sepulcher verse number four and when they looked they saw that the stone was rolled away for it was very great now look at this the same jesus who commanded men to roll away the stone of lazarus at one point he was in that same stone i don't know if i'm talking to somebody right here you need to understand this revelation so automatically you need to understand that there comes a time in the life of a man where the helper we also need help there comes a time in the life of a man where the helper we also need help jesus who commanded the men to roll away the oh, God bless you, man of God. God bless you, Apostle John. Yes, I'll uh, mention your program about the stone and the sepulchre and all that. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you, more grace, more grace. Uh, I, I just need to keep to all this grace that is speaking for you right now. And that is why I'm calling on the program. 
All right. I stand to declare in the name of Jesus Christ, may you receive grace, grace for divine access and grace for speed and ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that your anointing will never be tampered with. And your yeah, anointing will never be contaminated. I'm young in the ministry, and I love to see young people like what you're doing now. I just want to okay, so it's uh... Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, the same stone that was rolled away for Lazarus was also rolled away for Jesus Christ. Automatically, there are two stones that were rolled away. So one was rolled away by humans, and the other was rolled away by divine intervention. Glory to God. So they were rolled away by divine intervention. Now, this is what you need to understand. That the stones that you are actually going through right now might be rolled away by men, or some might be rolled away by divine intervention. And I came to speak to the stones that need divine intervention. Glory to God. Glory to God. So when the people were actually looking, uh, is, is, it, is, is, is Jesus still in the tomb? But the stones were already rolled away and they were amazed because it was great. They never expected it. They never expected it. They never expected it. The same way, what you are going through right now, I am going to be speaking forth into that situation. By the hand of the Lord, whatever you are going through, today comes to an end. That woman that is watching me right now, that you are experiencing a cancer, somewhat like a tumor in your breast. I don't know where you are, but the Lord is telling me that today, that cancer is being rolled away. That cancer is rolled away. That man that is experiencing some weakness in your system. My God, today is rolled away. Pain, and I've gone to hospital. It has been diagnosed that they, don't have, they cannot see anything. So I just called for prayers. Okay, what did the doctor tell you? He told me that they did series of tests, but the test did not reveal anything. But the only thing that he told me was, I should avoid anything that would lead to BP because it can lead to heart attack. But if I don't have BP, I should just go. But the pain is still there. Right now, I pray for you. Do you believe that God is going to heal you now? Yes, I believe Distance is not a barrier, but belief is a connection. I stand to declare. Lay your hand upon your head right now while I declare. By the spirit of the living God now, whatever that looks like the afflictions of the wicked over your destiny, let it be rolled away now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak for the divine intervention in Jesus' name. You are healed and you are delivered in Jesus' name. No more sickness upon your life in Jesus' name. Check yourself. God has healed you just now. Amen. God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So make sure the calls keep coming. And you are the man they have disappointed you. You have been going. You have been seeking for job. They have disappointed you. Today, God is giving you a divine connection. I'm speaking divinely. 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 My God. Good evening, Papa. God bless you. Deborah, how are you? I'm fine, sir. All right. Um, I'm going to pray for you real quick. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Because I saw somewhat like a pain. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. God is going to heal you now. Okay. God is going to heal you now. I don't know what you're going through, but God is going to heal you now. Is there any report they gave you? Was there any report they gave to you? Sir? Was there any report they gave to you? I, I, can't, I can't get you there. Was there any medical report they gave to you? Can you hear me? I think I lost that call there. Okay. So, right now, I'm praying for everyone under the influence of this unction that the grace of God will begin to roll away every stone that needs to be rolled away. The stones of poverty, the stones of miscarriage, the stones of childlessness, the stones of blockade, the stones of hindrance, the stones that have hindered you even in ministry, the stones that have hindered your health, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, you are healed. 
you are healed and you are delivered you are healed you are healed and you are delivered in the name of jesus christ i pray that by the spirit of the living god anything that has afflicted you whatever that has delayed you whatever that has denied you right now by the grace of god let there be a release let the stones be rolled away let the stones be rolled away let the stones be rolled away in the name of jesus christ it doesn't matter what you have been going through, but by the unction of the Holy Ghost, today, by the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ, I declare that you be healed in the name of the Jesus. The doctor said, I have a breast this thing I did breast. For the past one month, I cannot even wear shirt in my left breast. You cannot wear shirt. So you don't want to operate it. If I hear your preaching radio. Okay. As I'm talking to you now, hear me, as I'm talking to you right now, God is going to heal you right Hello. now. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. God is going to heal you right now. Huh? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I said God is going to heal you of that cancer. Amen. Listen, because as I'm talking to you right now, uh, your mother's name, your mother's name is Anna. Amen. Amen. Your mother's name is Anna. Amen. Huh? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear. I said, oh, I lost that call, dear. Please be very fast, be very, very fast, so that we can actually pick up some other calls. Hallelujah. And make sure you are in a good uh, network area. I think I was talking about a woman who had cancer, who had tumor on the breast. God is healing that person now god is healing that person right now so wherever you are make sure you are connected make sure you are connected make sure you are connected right now i declare every stone of hindrance there are some of you here you are so beautiful you are so beautiful but your beauty has been has been has been delayed your beauty has been has been kept to nothing as a result of a certain stone people will like you just for relationship but not for marriage there is somebody watching me right here you are up to age 35 and yes marriage is not forthcoming you are watching me now you are up to age 45 marriage is not forthcoming you are up to age 30 you are still believing god for marital settlement right today in the name of jesus christ that stone of disappointment is rolled away that stone of disappointment is rolled away good afternoon, man of god good afternoon god bless you where are you calling from I'm calling from Patakot. All right. Sister Chidima, today I declare that by the spirit of the living God, you shall be delivered from every form of delays. Amen. As I'm talking to you right now, I see where God is about to take you from nothing to something. There Amen. Are, there are chains of mockery that have been placed around you, but today God is already disconnecting you from delays. Amen. I pray that every spirit of delay over your life is disconnected now. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every spirit of delay over your destiny be disconnected in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I usher you into a new level of supernatural elevation. Hallelujah. Amen. Congratulations. You are set for testimonies. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Thank you amen all right you are here you're watching me now there is somebody here you're watching me and you have been denied a visa and you want to go to the embassy again you want to go and reapply god is saying after now you are going to get that visa there is somebody watching me right now you had an accident three times you had an accident up to three times now you also had an accident not too long ago not too long ago by the spirit of the living god you're watching me now you are seated in your home and specifically you are in lagos my name is Pastor Samuel from Abuja. I connect to the grace of, on the life of the man of God. I once watched him on um, a TV in Cameroon, in Mbende TV, and he has blessed my life. I, I, but I know he has he, he's, he's never known me before. Man of God, I connect to the grace over your life. When my wife put on the TV, I saw I connect into the grace over your life, sir. You are blessed. Pastor Samuel, as I'm talking to you right now, God is about to elevate your ministry. Are you hearing me? God is about to elevate your ministry. Yeah, your father married two wife. Your father married two wife. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh my God, I can't hear you. Hello? I said, can you hear me now? Hello. Oh, um, can you hear me? Oh, Pastor.
for someone. Can you hear me? All right, I think I lost that call there. Okay, please make sure wherever you are getting connected from, uh, make sure you are in a good reception area so that um, you won't get disconnected. All right, if you are watching me now, make sure you go ahead. If you're live on Facebook, if you're live online, you can go ahead and share. You can go ahead and share. You can go ahead and share and invite somebody to invite somebody to tell somebody. God is touching you and God is healing you right now. In I the saw name. this program. Uh, I woke up one morning. I marched something. I never since then have this, have this solo private bag, which I know is not an ordinary. So I'm, from what I'm watching, I believe that my healing will come from there. Please, I beg you in the name of God, if there's any way you can put me in prayer. You are going to be healed. That my healing is going to come from you. Frank, can you hear me now? I don't know what I match. Can you hear me now? And the doctors could not diagnose exactly what is wrong with me. Can you hear me, Frank? Hello, sir. Yes, Frank, can you hear me? Hello, sir. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Frank. Can you hear me? Yeah. I have a problem of solo private part. I woke up and I matched it well. Ever since then, I've been suffering the pain. Today, so, your healing is going to take place. Sir? Your healing is going to take place today. Uh, hello? Can you hear me now? My God. Uh, I was talking about somebody who was having a serious health challenge. I don't know if it's this person, but please make sure you try to connect even after now. Hallelujah. Because God is about to heal so many people. On this live broadcast, a lot of people are getting healed. A lot of people are getting healed. Sicknesses are rolling away. Ah, it doesn't matter what the doctor has called you. There is somebody watching me right now. You have a report of... for me, sir. I pray over my life, sir. Tosi, can you hear me? Hello? Tosi, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you, sir. All right. As a matter of fact, do you know that you have been called? Sir? You have been called to serve God. Yeah, sir. I do, I do, I do hear that, sir. You have, been served to, you have been called to serve God. And as a matter of fact, God is going to use you in this generation. And um, Amen. specifically, you are going to start from the campus. Amen. Specifically, you are going to start from the campus. Amen. Yes. Your father is he a pastor? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your father is a pastor. Yes, sir. But there is there is somewhat like 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 a battle going on, and you are asking every time you want to know if God has truly commissioned you for this purpose. Hmm. Yes, sir. But God has commissioned you. This is a confirmation word. You need not to ask questions. God has commissioned you, and I see where you are going to be elevated in no distant time from now. You love the Amen. things of God. God is going to touch you mightily. Amen. Amen. God is going Amen. to touch you mightily. I see Amen. you like a prophet to nations. Yes, amen. I receive, Papa. I receive, Papa. Like you are a prophet to nations. Get ready because your assignment is sure and heaven is going to touch you. Hmm. All right, Papa. Thank you very much. I receive. You are amen. blessed and highly favored. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Bless you. Bye. Now, wherever you are, please go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. And tell somebody. Because today, healing is still taking place. I don't know where you're watching from. But one thing I believe is this. One thing I believe is this. Distance is not a barrier. Belief is your connection. As I pray for you, the demons of poverty, the stones of poverty, the stones of delay, the stones of, of gathering and scattering, the stones of stagnation, the stones of limitation is being broken today, is being removed today in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter for how long it has been there, but by the reason of the anointing of the Holy Ghost today, that stone shall be rolled away by divine support and divine well, I intervention. Him, I said I once, I once watched a broadcast of him in Cameroon in Bende TV, and I'm so excited when my wife turned on the TV and I saw him. I connected the grace over your life, man of God. Please speak a word over my life, sir. Pastor Samuel, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you, sir. I saw where God is going to lift you from henceforth. Are you hearing me? I receive, Papa. Your father married two wives. Yes, sir. Your father married two wives, and they never wanted your mother to, to inherit the property of your father. 
Jesus. Because as I'm talking to you right now, the anointing of God upon my life is going to flow Jesus. on you now. You are correct, Papa. Because as I'm talking to you now, you have also you have also wanted a family liberation. Because every now and then you keep seeing yourself back home. You have been struggling yes. in ministry. Even last night, even last night, Papa. Even last night, Papa. As I'm talking to you right now, God said He's going to lift you. That battle Amen. in the home is going to be settled. I receive, Papa. Look at this. I'm giving you within the space of three days from now. Okay? Yes. There is something yes. God is about to do. There is a man you actually prayed for. His name is Frank. There is a man you actually prayed for. His yes. name is Frank yes. 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 I, I pray for it. Jesus Christ. Frank Wilberforce. As a matter of fact, I see you. God is going to use you right now to bless other people because this man that you bless is going to bless you yes sir. i actually pray for him exactly one week now sir. one week now because i see you have this man actually traveled to ghana he traveled to ghana yes sir, yes, sir. Hey, he traveled to you ghana right, sir. You are right, sir. and he has something to do with phone business phone accessories exactly sir my god i declare over you now divine help from above is released for you I I receive my dear Within the space of two months, I see where this man is returning to help you. Amen. Because he's going to he's going to help you in your ministry. Amen. He actually promised that if what he goes to do works out, he's going to help my ministry, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare divine help. I the grace of God that breaks protocol, let it be released for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are favored. Jesus. Watch this. The second wife of your father, what she actually did to limit your destiny is broken today. Yes, sir. And the name of this woman looks like Angela. Yeah. That is the name of my wife, sir. Huh? That's the name of my wife, sir. Ah, uh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. After now, this. after now, after now, heaven is going to do what no man can do for you. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and rejoice because God has remembered you. Amen. Jesus. You are blessed. Thank new anointing and new anointing upon you. Amen. You are here, you are watching me, and you actually want to connect to this broadcast. Make sure you believe. First of all, believe that you are going to be healed. There is somebody who is watching me right now. I don't know, you have a report of HIV. But today, on this miracles miracle program you are going to be healed i don't care what they have told you i don't care whether you are going to be living on pills i they told you you're going to be living on drugs you're going to be living and sustaining on drugs but by the special grace of god today let there be divine healing right now you are the one having that having that a sickness you can go ahead you can go ahead and get a glass of water now declare the blood of jesus christ for three times and take it there is still power in the blood of Jesus Christ. And something is going to happen right now. Something is going to happen. I'm giving you within the space of three days, go back to that hospital. Is that man of God, sir? Yeah, God bless you. Is that man of God? God bless you. Where are you calling from? Yes, I'm calling from uh, Gabon. Okay. In Bojan Yes, sir. Uh, I want you to, uh, to speak a word into my life. Concerning my ministry, my family and financial. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that by the Spirit of the Living God, where you have been limited, wherever you have been limited, may God take you out of that limitation and put you into an unlimited level. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now by the Spirit of the Living God, whatever that has held you bound for several years. I declare, may it begin to get disconnected from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sir, as I'm talking to you right now, Amen. I saw an opening door to other nations. Are you hearing me? As a matter of fact, I saw an opening door to Australia. I saw an opening door to Australia. I saw an opening door to Australia. Get ready because something is about to happen for you. Okay? Do you have your passport? The passport, yes, sir. All right. I declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a release of sudden transformation to cause positive impact in your life and ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. There was a time you had a dream, and in this dream, you saw yourself being anointed. Yes, sir. 
you saw yourself being anointed god said that you announced to you that doors have opened for you let not your heart be troubled because your time has come for supernatural elevation congratulations amen amen go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead wherever you are please make sure you are connected 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 stones have been rolled away today stones have been rolled away today stones have been rolled away today in the name of jesus christ stones have been rolled away stones of limitation stones of frustration stones of disappointment stones of failure stones of rising and falling they have been rolled away today by divine help divine assistance in the name of jesus christ i command helpers to begin to locate you after now may help us begin to locate you wherever you are I declare help from above let it begin to locate you in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray that the spirit of the living god will usher you into the next dimension as help has come for you you shall be blessed and you shall be favored wherever you are distance is not a barrier there is somebody who is watching me right now you are watching me right now your plate number has something to do with lnd lnd oh, you can hear me okay yeah evan Evan, God bless you. Can you hear me? All is well, Prophet. How are you doing? Very well. Now, can I pray with you? Can you hear me? No. It's a bit noisy, but I can hear you. Yes, can you hear me now so that I can quickly pray for you? I think I lost that there. All right. There is somebody who is watching me right now. There is a case that needs to be settled. And this case has to do with a man that you, you, you were in a relationship with. And this case is in the court. This case is in the court. You are watching me right now. This case is about to be settled. This case is about to be settled. There is a court case. There is a court case. There is another person who is having another court case. This is, it has to do with divorce. Divorce. This is a divorce case. This is a divorce case. God is going to settle that case in your favor. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what has gone wrong in that relationship. God is about to settle you. Now in the name of Jesus. There is somebody watching me here. There is an inheritance that belongs to you that somebody else has collected. I pray today let it be restored unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody who is watching me right now. Your menstruation has I'm ceased. To, to program. I just need your, your word in my life. Raymond. Raymond. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. All right. I declare over your life that the spirit of the living God will break every spirit of limitation, every spirit of frustration, and every spirit of stagnation. Be broken from your ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare, may help come for you. May help Amen. come for you. Amen. May help come for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Raymond, watch out because there is a help that is coming for you. And I see as a matter of fact, you are going to have a connection very soon in Abuja. Are you hearing me? There is help Amen. coming for you. There is a man who is connected. He is well connected. Because you have been surrounded with people that matters. But you are not getting the benefit of these people. But within the shortest period of time, heaven is bringing divine help for you. Amen. Heaven is bringing divine help for you. I pray that it will come faster than you expected. Amen. In Jesus' name. You are blessed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You can go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. My God. My God. We have just a few more minutes right here. But I believe that every one of you that has been watching, you have been richly blessed and God is about to do something new in your life hallelujah so make sure you get connected um for those of you who might as well want to connect with me uh right here the number shown on the screen the number shown on the screen is my number so you can go ahead and copy the number and stay connected amen and you can also follow us on facebook you can also follow us on facebook as supreme anointing global ministry so go ahead and follow, go ahead and connect. And those of you that have been connected, get set for supernatural encounter. And I pray that God will do what no man can do for you in Jesus' name. You are blessed and highly favored. Nothing can stop you again in Jesus' name. Shalom, 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 shalom. See you guys. See you guys. See you guys some other time.
bless you